For over a thousand years, Kapabhati Pranayama, which is called the skull shining breath, has been practiced by the yogis from the East to awaken powerful energy within, such as Kundalini. And today in the West, this powerful practice or breath work has now become the secret of some of the most successful people on the planet to boost focus, clarity, and vitality. Join us today to learn a life-changing practice that can transform your morning routine and empower your day in just 60 seconds. So the preparation? To find yourself a comfortable and seated posture with a straight spine. Close your eyes, take a few gentle breaths to center yourself. If you're watching this at home, feel free to set whatever you're doing aside and just take one minute to practice with me. This is so simple. Step one, active exhalation. So forcefully contract your abdominal muscles to push air out through your nostrils in a quick, sharp breath. The exhalation is short and powerful. And step two, passive inhalation. Allow the inhalation to happen naturally without effort as your abdomen relaxes. The inhalation is automatic and passive. So, so this is one pump. Perform 20 pumps to complete one round. Okay, now let's begin. And we'll do five rounds together. And in between, just allow yourself to breathe naturally. Now, round two. Relax your mind and notice if you're feeling any difference now compared to before. Do you feel like there's a more sense of clarity? Do you feel more relaxed? You're more at peace. Some important pointers about this practice. Pace is very important. You want to maintain a steady rhythm, about one pump per second. And focus is also important. Keep your awareness on the breath 
and the movement of your abdomen. And keep in mind, if this is your first time trying it, it's totally okay. I'm sure that you are doing perfect. You can always come back to this video and watch it again to practice day by day because as they say, practice makes perfect. And the thing about pranayama or breath work is that there's no such thing as the perfect breath because how I breathe is different than how you are breathing. It's different than another person. So the key is about finding what is right, what feels good for you. Okay, now after awakening the energy and cleaning our mind with Kapabhati, we ignite an inner fire that purifies and renews us from within. And this powerful breath awakens us our vital force, sharpens our mind and prepares us for the next step on our spiritual path. And now on this opportunity, with this heightened awareness and a calm heart, we turn inward to Pratahara, the practice of drawing your mind away from the external awareness, the external world. Just as Kapapati purifies our physical and energetic force, Pratahara purifies the mind, allowing us to release sensory noise and find inner peace. And what is interesting is that this quiet the mind is not an escape, but a choice to connect with our true self. Through Pratahara, we step into a place of inner silence, preparing for meditation and a deep communion with divine. Okay, now you might wonder, Jazzy, what is Pratahara? To simply put, it is the gateway to inner stillness. Pratyahara is an important practice, again, being practiced for thousands of years, of withdrawing the mind from the sensory world. Just as a turtle retracts its limbs to find safety within its shell, we also could draw our senses inward to discover the peace that resides within us. By turning away from external distractions such as phones, memes, internet, we calm the restless mind and prepare it for deeper meditation. In this quietude, the soul begins to perceive the subtle realities of existence. Pratyahara acts as a bridge between our outer practice of self-discipline and the inner practice of concentration and meditation. It is the turning point where the mind stops reacting to the sensory outputs and starts experiencing the divine presence within. Through Pratyahara, we learn that true joy is not dependent on the fleeting pleasures of the world, but is found in the inner stillness, is found in a space between the words, between the actions. By mastering this practice, we open the door to a profound inner transformation and spiritual awakening. With that said, this is Jazzy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Much love.